Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights. Welcome to Mystic Love Tarot and for those of you that are new, hi. Those of you that have been here before, welcome back. So what we're going to do today is what are the emotions that your person has for you. So it's gonna be the question person that you are specifically asking about. We're gonna go into their energy and pull out the collective energy of their emotions for you. So if you need me for private readings, you can just drop me a message. Um, MrLoveTarot at gmail.com. Now, what, <laughs> as a pagan, as a pagan and as a, a, a bit of a priestess, a magician, I do a lot of magic. And I've just noticed on my tarot table, we have got this black stuff. And um, so most of you will know that my hands are always kind of covered with herbs and uh, charcoal and things like that. But I wasn't kind of expecting that to be on the table. Now, the reason why it's on the table, I presume, um, is because I'm going to just burn us some of this. So this is Styrax, um, and Styrax is very, very good for us to delve into the other realms. Um, so, and so my charcoal had gone out, um, and I thought, well, I best get some tissue before I get all this um, all over the tarot deck. So I was, what I was saying was, this is Styrax, um, and Styrax is really, really good for us to delve into the other realms. So I'm just going to light some of that for us as we go about this reading. And if you need any individual magic, you can just give me a shout. Um, I'll put all the deets in the description for you. So, what are the person you're thinking about? What are the emotions that they have for you? I have to read it. <laughs> deck number one and deck number two. two. I'm actually going to take that out because that's a bit of a. Can you see? Can you see? It's a little bit of a, a hand slip. Um, so, we'll take that one out and we'll start off the other way around and we'll do this just to confuse you all. Deck number one and deck number two. Go to the deck that you are most drawn to. I've put this on cinematic mode. Um, so, it's going a little bit blurry on occasions. I thought I'll try it a different way. Like that. Number one, number two. Go to the deck you're drawn to. Okay, so let's do deck number one first and foremost. Okay, so the first card that's kind of jumping out over here is the Knight of Cups. And for those of you that are, are we working? Okay. Knight of Cups. <laughs> I'll stop messing around now. So those of you that are interested in the man that is shouting out the window, this is called a rag and bone man. Now, I don't know if you have them in other countries, um, but in England, it's like a guy that comes around. It's one of our oldest trades, I think. It uh, comes around and collects all your scrap metal or your old bits of furniture. Um, and he shouts rag and bone. So if you hear that, it's a rag and bone man. So what is the person that you're asking about emotions for you too? Oh, Lord, three. Oh, what we got going on here, guys. Four. Five. Okay, now, I know a lot of you aren't Swifties, and now I know a lot of you are Swifties, but for those of you that aren't, you're just going to have to bear with this because I got this beautiful new deck, and it's the Taylor Swift Era's Tour um, deck, and I just want to pull one of the songs for you. So you know that I'm Claire Audion, and I work a lot with music, and so for me, this is like the perfect deck for you guys and um, when it comes to someone expressing their emotions for you. The only problem is I don't know the song titles because the song titles aren't on it, and um, so some of the song titles, I'm like, ooh, don't know, don't know, don't know. Right, okay, so we got the, the Taylor Swift card is Death, and for those of you that like Taylor Swift, um, it's Taylor Swift's, Swift's song, uh, the one that says reputation and it says but i got smarter i got harder in the nick of time honey i rose up from the dead i do it all the time so that overall energy is a feeling of rebirth so we always know with the death card that there are endings and new beginnings and this is what's kind of happening over here your relationship with your person had come to a little bit of an abrupt stop and um, now there's specific reasons for that happening um no matter what your individual circumstances are if you want us to have a look at that in individual readings um do just give me a shout but the, the regardless of that the situation has come to a bit of a close with you guys for the time being now what spirit are really clearly saying in my right ear um is that it's actually gone into a period of hibernation okay so it hasn't completely ended. It hasn't completely gone to waste. It's just on a little bit of a standstill, a little bit of a go slow, they are saying. Um, and it's kind of this heavy energy coming up between the two of you. So what's quite interesting is the card that was sticking out before I switched the decks around was the Knight of Cups. Cinematic mode. I bodged it for you all 
but you're just gonna have to cope with it. So we've got the Knight of Cups and we got the Three of Swords. Now, these cards are saying that someone is in love with you and there is heartbreak over the situation. Your person is feeling very upset, very heartbroken, very sad, um, very um, spirit saying despair, despair over the connection between the two of you. And they're also feeling that perhaps their actions um, have meant that you've wanted to pull away from the situation, which is this reputation song over here about getting harder, smarter in the nick of time. So your person is really feeling this sense of loss, this sense of grief, this sense of ragbo, <laughs> this sense of loss, this sense of grief and this sense of, oh my God, I perhaps have made the wrong choices and now I'm just sitting here feeling sorry for myself over the connection. Okay, so there is this really like, Red bone. <laughs> it's like drum and bass, rock bone. Um, <laughs> this really sad energy coming up from the person that you are asking about. The next cards that come up are temperance and strength. So there is a sense of alchemy going on with this, all right? So they have made the choices that they made in the past with you, which has really hurt you. You guys have said, right, you know what? I think I'm out of here. I don't think I need to deal with this shit anymore. I'll let them get on with it. And because of that, your person is really feeling this sense of loss, which is where the alchemy is coming in. And they're gathering their strength over the connection. Okay, so this is saying that they are having this realisation again, this transformation again, things really, really shifting for them um, and that they feel sorry about how they handled the situation with you in the past. Okay, um, so that's coming up. The other thing with temperance is it's kind of a little bit, don't shoot the messenger, of delays. So it does look like your person is going to be reaching out to you if you're not in contact. It does look like they are going to be expressing their emotions towards you um, when you do reconnect with each other. But we have the potential for delay. Okay, a little bit of delays over here. And the reason why we've got the eight of pence. So they're just working through things at the moment. They're really experiencing these dark nights of the soul, this heavy energy around them. Um, and again, feeling this sense of loss and spirit saying really clearly to me that it's only through loss that we can find ourselves again and we can find our connections again. So your inner sense, your person has to lose you for the time being for them to realise what they've lost and make that full on movement back towards you very abruptly, very quickly and very based on heart centred emotions and love. OK, so if you need me for a private reading, you can just give me a shout. I'll put all the uh, comments and uh, all the deep red bone and <laughs> yeah, I'll put all the um, how to get in touch with me in the description for you. So you can just reach out to me. Um, and yeah, I do same day questions, same day return on questions on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want your answer today, do give me a shout. The only exception for that is I am in London this week from Thursday to Sunday. I'm at the International Tarot Conference. So there might be a little bit of a delay in me getting back to you, but don't fret. I will have tarot decks with me and I will aim to get them back within the 24 hour period. Might not be same day, but within the 24 hour period, I can get that back to you. And um, the other thing I want to tell you is if you haven't checked out the Divine Feminine podcast, that I am doing with my co-host Josie Vinton please go and check it out um, I would love some more subscribers over there it is at mystical moon day musings we're on 97 but we're doing a competition to win a free reading at 100 so do make sure that you go and subscribe along there so in summary now I've interrupted you with, in, uh, with, with uh, announcements for the day um, in summary your person is feeling love loss grief despair sadness heaviness feeling that they've cocked up the entire situation and we just had a triad of crows clawing them and um, so whenever we do any kind of magic or paganism anything like that we work in threes which is called a triad um it's basically mother maiden crone life death rebirth anything that kind of comes in threes so when a, a, a crow calls three times this is showing that there is still hope to arise from the situation that they got us with you just as a side note um yeah so they haven't lost hope it's going to take a little bit of time to work it out they're going through the alchemy they've realized what they've lost and they will make those moves back towards you and that is what your person's emotions are for you and that is deck number one the other thing with deck number one is it was quite scatty i was quite here and quite there so that is really indicating you and your person's emotions that they are in a little bit of a scatty brain and that is deck number one Okay, so let us shoot over to deck number two. 
I put it on cinematic mode, so it, it's, it's a bit blurry if you just tapped into, down, tuned in, turned on deck number two. So I'm just lighting some Styrax for us, which is the herb for us to go to the other side, the underworld. I'm really working with that herb today. Um, it's beautiful, it smells absolutely delicious. So deck number two, let's get going. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, hi, 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 welcome to Mr. Love Harry. My name is Ali. Uh, I am a psychic medium, spiritual life coach, and pagan priestess. And you can find me on Mystic Love Tarot. But I also have a sister channel uh, where I do weekly free readings with my friend Josie um, of tarot and astrology. So you can see what's happening in the week ahead. So go hit subscribe over there at, at Mr. Cool Moon Day Musings. And let's go. So we're looking at what your person, you're asking about emotions for you today. What are... Ooh, their emotions for you that was a hand slap in case you guys like why did she put it back in the deck goodness gracious me what is happening over here okay <laughs> spirit is saying uh, it, it, i think this is a really old-fashioned song whenever i say spirit um i mean those loved ones helps and guides that are in the other dimensions by the way in case you're like what is spirit um there's they sing an old song saying oh oh what a calamity uh uh did, 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 what will the matter be something like that um i can hear it really clearly it sounds like a kind of wartime song what are their emotions for those watching? So that is automatically sen sensing that there is a little bit of a calamity happening with deck number two. Okay, so as I did with deck number one, I'm going to do it with deck number two. If you're not Swifties, please just, well, I'd say ignore the, this part of the reading, but you're not going to want to because I've got a Taylor Swift Eros tarot deck and they have song lyrics on each one. And as you've just experienced, Spirit, I'm, I'm Claire audience and Spirit love to give me songs. So um, this deck is absolutely perfect for the song lyrics for you guys. So let's see, what is your person's emotions for you? It's still tarot as well, so it's it's going to be going to be fabulous for you Swifties. Right, we've got two. Let's go with these two. So we've got the Knight of Pants. I know you can't see it very well at the moment. And we've also got the Nine of Swords. Okay, so let me just read you the song lyrics. Let's start off with the Knight of Pants, and you're gonna really test my Taylor Swift knowledge now, see if I know the song. I don't think I know this one. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Strategy sets the scene for the tale. I'm the wind in our free loving sails and the liquor in our cocktails. So this is someone coming towards you with it being night of pants. This is someone coming towards you based on much more stable emotions and stability, okay? Um, now that teamed up with the other cards, I will explain in a second. Um, I just wanna talk you through these two first. And the last one, the next one is Nine of Swords. So I wonder if they'll miss me once they drive me out. I wake up in the middle of the night and I can feel time moving. Okay. Nine of Swords um, is about fears. It's about insomnia. It's about dark nights of the soul. And if you've tapped into Mystical Moon Day Musings on Monday, um, I also spoke about the Nine of Swords in this deck. Okay, well, not in this deck, just as in, in general. And it is about this insom insomnia. It is about these fears that kind of come up and haunt us in the middle of the night. So what's happening with your person? First off, first off the bat with the two Taylor Swift cards, jumping in at the beginning, um, is saying that your person is having these fears and they are starting to realise that these emotions that are rising up within them, they have to make headway on them, which is the Knight of Pentacles. I'm also hearing with that spirit saying really clearly to me, slow and steady will win the race. And I saw, if you ever remember the um, fable about the, uh, was it turtle or tortoise? Tortoise and hare, um, and how the hare ran really, really fast and he got knackered and the tortoise just took his time, went slow and steady and he won. And that is what's happening with your person's emotions. They have a lot of fear going on. Now, why do they have fear? We've got past memories. So memories from this lifetime, from the past, probably stuff to do with exes, mothers, other people. Um, but we also have past life energies. And if you want me to look at past life reading, do give me a shout. I'll put all my details in the comments for you so you can get in touch. Um, but we do have this past link, okay? A past link. So they have this fears. Now, it looks like with this guys between the two of you with the six of cups and the lovers it does look like there is stuff that has happened between you guys um, and your person has no longer known what to do about the situation 
I also want to say with that, Spirit is saying to me they have overwhelming emotions and they don't know how to handle them. So what's happening is that they're taking a bit of a breather from the situation with the Four of Swords. They're thinking it through, not really doing much about the situation. So you're going to find it's a little bit stagnant around you guys and they're feeling burdened by what is going on. So your person knows that they are being their own worst enemy. They can see that this relationship can really go the distance and that you guys can have a future together, a blossoming future. It's just that we have this fear going on of stuff that's happened in the past re-entering um, their life, re-entering it. They've had a uh, spirit saying there's wounds of um, absolution. They're saying that there's wounds of pain um and they're saying there's wounds of i can't go through that kind of pain again so this is why your person can be a little bit of a standstill with you a little bit of a standstill that was really mumbled i do mumble on occasions i try not to but i mumble so this is where your person's energy is it's a lot of fear it's a lot of fear but it's fear because of love now, as you know, I've said before uh, on this channel that people tend to think that hate and love are opposites. It's actually completely wrong. Fear and love are the polar opposites of each other. OK, so when we're in fear, we can't focus on love. And when we're in love, we don't focus on fear, really, when we're in those positive frequencies. So they are the higher frequencies of love and the lower frequencies of love, love, fear. And so they do counteract one another, but they can also be the world's, the, the world's biggest kind of polar opposites with like a magnet. I'm ready to do my rag bone. If you didn't watch deck number one, I was doing some drum and bass for the rag and bone, man. You have to go check it out so I don't have to explain it again. So your person in this state of indecision over this, indecision, but slow and steady movement. Okay, so what overall is your person's emotions for you fear and love past stuff past life memories and karma we've got emotions based on love we've got i need to have a breather because i'm a bit panicky we've got a sense of panic because the emotions are really strong for you we've got i can see building my castle I just got Castle Made of Sand. I don't know who sings that, but it was a song. I just heard it really clearly. If you know it, write it in the comments. Um, building a castle that is based on stability and security, not of sand, okay, Spirit is saying to me. And that is the progression roots with your person. They're just taking their time with it all, which is highly, highly frustrating for you, but very much in fear, okay? Remember, like I said, fear and love are opposites. And if you need us to do some magic to counteract that energy, you can just give me a shout. Again, all the comments in the descriptions. Um, I do do same day return voice note readings on Instagram and Facebook. Just missed it. Love Tarot on there. So if you want your answer today, you can give me a shout today. It's only £10, 10 GBP pound a question. So um, try and keep the price down for you with the quickest turnaround time as well. So that you guys can just really, um, you know, you get that advice and guidance as you need it. Um, I am away thursday to sunday my out of office will be on but i will be replying to messages when i get the chance i'm in london at the international tarot conference there and um, so it's quite a full-on few days but i will be around i'm also meeting someone from texas that i read for so yeah this year has been really good because i've met people from denmark belgium and texas all of you guys um i'm trying to be really good at meeting you guys this year and saying hi and um, so if you are around do give me a shout because i love to see you all and, and get to meet you all um, and I believe, my loves, that is it. Oh, the only other thing is if you haven't checked out my sister channel, my sister channel, not my sister, my sister channel, my other channel, um, it's at Mystical Moon Day Musings and I do a free reading every Monday every Monday a free reading with my uh, co-host and friend Josie Vinton. So um, if you want to see the astrology and tarot for the week and as well get some kind of pagan tips on how you can move yourself forward with the more difficult situations but also with the positive ones do go check it out. We're going to 100 subscribers. When we get them we are going to be running a competition to win a free reading so please go and check it out. Please go and hit subscribe and um, also subscribe over here if you haven't because if you haven't subscribed over here you're not going to win the competition over there <laughs> and that's it my loves okay i will speak to you next week many many blessings ciao